Hey everyone, welcome to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to open a box from Jet Pins. This is honestly my my first order from Jet Pins this year, or in a year, I think. Um, and it came rather quickly. I actually ordered it last weekend and it came and arrived before Christmas. So that was really nice even though it said it wasn't going to be here until probably 2023. But they managed to get it to me rather quickly. So the contents in here really have to do with things for 2023, my planners, and some things I, I've been looking at. I've been trying to curate my whole shopping cart for about three weeks <laughs> trying to figure out what I really need and what I don't really need. So I'm going to open the box and let's dive in. Okay, so this is the bag. It's going to take a few minutes to get through everything. We can go one by one. So first off, I got the Mimoc Roll Tape Squared Paper, and this is Self Stick Sticky Notes. And I wanted this for my B6 planner um, because I felt like I may need some more room. I'm used to an A5 planner, and my B6 is the one from Sterling Ink. And although I would prefer more like cream or white, this is the only one they had. And there's a lot of good reviews on this one. And you can also get refills. So once when I get it started, I, here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So I was trying to look for... Okay, so it does tear pretty evenly. I was trying to look for a tape that would be sticky enough to last for a while um, because anything I put on here, I most likely would not take it off until probably the end of the week or maybe the end of the month if needed or just keep it on. Um, and I heard that this sticks really well. I'm just not sure if it leaves a residue. So I'm gonna keep this on there for a little while and see how it how it does. But I do like the idea of this. And I think I could even fit this on my Galen leather like roll. This could possibly fit on a roll um, for meant for like other washi tape just because it has this like circular thing here. So next is the dot liner from Kokuyo, and I heard about this being awesome from um, another YouTuber, um, Joe, and so I was like, oh, I need to try it. I love different glue sticks, and actually, I keep my glue sticks in here, so I have like the glue glue, and then I have like this, the purple one. Um, I have a uh, Uhu stick and then the Kokuyo one and of course some Tombow and then some Amazon basics. So I thought I could add this to the mix and it will, these things get complicated, I think. Oh, so this sticks here and then it opens it and then you can do your little dot liner. And then you click it to uh, retract the, the little sticky part. So I will keep this in here and perfectly fit. So next are a couple of inks. I've 
wanted to try the Nostalgia. Let me open it up. So this one is a sketch ink and it is permanent. Um, I do have one other sketch ink and so I decided, well, maybe let me try a different color. This color is really strange. It looks very interesting. This should be like a reddish pinkish color um, called Julie or Jewel. So we'll see how that looks. And then I got the Onyx Nostalgia and I do have the Pyrite color from the same brand and I do like it. It's also permanent. So I wanted to try another color from the brand. So let's jump in it, jump into it right now, shall we? I'm going to find a page. And we will be using two different dip pens just because I don't have water nearby. So let's try this one. This color looks brown. And I don't recall this color looking brown <laughs> so well oh, okay so it's like a deep burgundy color Okay, this, this is quite nice. I like the way it dries. So this one's Onyx. It's a pigment, pigment, a pigment ink. And it's just as dark, but trust me, it's a little bit different. Ooh, nice and thick. Is this the black? Maybe I did get the black. I don't know. It's like brown. It just, it looked black when it first went on the paper, but it's like a brown, which is what I thought I was getting. I have to look at the color sample on the back online just to confirm but I do like it um, so these are good to go I really like this color it's so deceiving the bottle color <laughs> so next are two of the dot pens and it's from Zig so I decided to get the gray and the fawn and I have a feeling I already have fun, but these have, they're double-sided. They have a dot and then 
I think they have just a regular pen on this side. Um, so I do plan to use these in my planner. I did grab some pens and while I have my notebook out, we can take a look. So I am using planners that uh, are not all fountain pen friendly from what I've researched. And so I felt like I needed to try some pens that would fit nicely and won't smear so easily. So this one is the Sarasa Markland. Well, that dries pretty fast. And it's a black ink. I got the 0.4, I think. Yeah, the 0.4, so it's a little bit thinner than the 0.5. This one is the Pilot Multi Ball, which I've heard can write on just about any surface. It's actually pretty juicy. And I've heard this, um, I got this one because of a suggestion from Job, and he says he uses it for multiple things. Mainly, um, he uses it on washi, and that's what I kind of wanted to try to do. And then, I've heard such great things about this pen. This one is the Uni Jetstream, and it's the, the newest edition that um, has more black ink than some of the others and actually I they have multiple pen bodies I ended up getting black it was on sale and so I thought well since it's on sale let me try it out first before trying to get multiple colors um, so it does have a red a blue and then it has the black that's in the middle and I think that there's more black ink than the other two and it does have this like kind of grippy section here it's like a more of a rubber feel than the rest of the body. I think this would be perfect for my planner. It's a 0.3, oh no, it's a 0.5, but it writes a lot thinner than the Sarasa Markon and the Pilot Multi Ball. So those are the three gel pen, or non-fountain pen pens I got. So then I have been eyeing a Traveler's Notebook Spiral, um, or Traveler's Company Spiral Notebook. This is in the B6. I wanted kind of a funky, um, not regular size and because it I felt like this would kind of fit what I was looking for because it opens um, lengthwise like this and I figured I could use this to put in like extra PET tapes and I like that it has the window so you could see what's inside each of the envelopes. Sorry for the glare but I figured I would give it a try. I've seen people store like stickers and things in here. So um, I wanted to try it out. Okay, so next are some sticky notes. Turkey timer stopped on family room echo show. So I wanted to get some sticky notes and these are the options I found. These again are gonna be used for my planner. Mostly my personal planner, like family planner, and possibly my work planner. So let's see how these fit. These are super tiny. I wasn't expecting them to be this small. And these are actually 
just as small and I wasn't expecting them to be that <laughs> that tiny. But I'm gonna, I wanna see how they fit in a monthly. So they look like they would fit in these small little, <laughs> in these small boxes. They're so cute. They're like the size of my nail almost. And I was kind of going back and forth because I wanted something that would be strong enough to stay and then I can kind of tear it off and readjust on a day. And I think these would fit really well. They did get good reviews. <clears throat> and then this one. So these ones are meant to be used in a monthly. And it gives you some instruction on the back how to use. So let's see. Whoa, these are like meant for B6. Yeah, I like these. <clears throat> In fact, I could probably just leave a couple on some pages. And if I need to reference or pull some off blank ones, then I can just have them really close by. I thought maybe I could even put this in there for quick access. And same with these. So I did also decide to get some Kita tape. It's been a while since I've ordered Kita. I think the last Kita order I had it was this one. And you know, I barely use it, but I try not to use them too quickly. And then of course I have this blue one, which Is really pretty. Blue is my color. And then this one. I love the designs on the front and how you can fold them over. So new Kita. I also got a whole bunch of stickers because I am a sticker fiend. Um, so Sautelier, uh, this one's new to me, Sonia Design, and they have clear and little, little icons that would work really good in a traveler's notebook insert. My Journal Masking Seal, MU, and these are the rub-ons. So one of these, um, I wanted some ones that were like really pretty and dainty that would go in my planner and then some travel stickers. <clears throat> I also got some index tabs and these are the first time I plan to use these. I wanted to use them in my um, uh, my work planner. So we'll see how those fit and um, we'll see how it goes. All right, last but not least, I got the 025 MD paper and cream. It has 64 pages. This is the Traveler's Notebook insert, and I don't think I've tried this before, and I've heard people rave about the fact that they love the cream paper. Um, I prefer white paper, but cream paper can also be, you know, I can work with cream paper and I just wanted to try it. So I'm gonna add this to my little turnaround thing uh, that has all my other empty inserts so that it will be ready to use one day. All right, so that is pretty much all I got. I'm really excited. Those sticky notes have got me thinking about <laughs> placing another order because they're just so cute. Um, 
Let me know what you guys got. If you did order from Jet Pens for the holidays, let me know below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and safe New Year's with your family. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.